All right, so in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna kind of illustrate the danger of relying on assert. We've showed you how to use assert, and we've used it, you know, in certain places. Um, and in our playgrounds, assert is turned on. But this is not normally the case. And this is why starting today, we're gonna to start transitioning away from using assert and towards having you throw certain types of exceptions in places where we would have used assert in the past. So, so let me show you an example of where this goes wrong. So, and I'm, I'm using the command line environment here because our playgrounds always have a cert turned on. Um, all right, so let me uh, show you this, this program that I'm gonna about to compile and run. Some of you may remember like uh, way back, we did uh, a lesson on compilation and execution. We showed you how to use some of these tools. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here. I have some Java code, this should look familiar to you. This is a class, it has a main method. That's where the program is gonna start running. And the first thing I have in there is assert false. Uh, and I'll change this message to uh, something that we can, uh, we can uh, so we can distinguish. So this code, if we think about it, when we start running the main method, it should fail immediately, right? Because it's gonna hit that assert false and it should throw an exception and the, the program should crash. So let's see what actually happens. I'm gonna compile it using Java C and then I'm gonna run it assertion didn't fire. The reason for this is because by default in Java, assertions do not work. They don't do anything. So you might wonder, what are they for? Well, let me show you. There is a way to turn them on. The way is to use what's called a command line argument to Java when you run the code. To do this, in this particular case, I use this command line argument dash. That's what usually when we run things at the command line, that indicates an argument and then EA. EA stands for enable assertions. When I enable assertions, now you'll see it failed. And I see the stack trace that I'm used to seeing. The, and it tells me the assertion error and, and it has the message in there and everything. So by default, no assertions, assertions on, assertions are fired. The reason that we're gonna move away from using assert starting today is because it can be difficult depending on the Java environment that you're working in to turn assertions on. Uh, for example, in Android, it's possible, it's not easy and maybe not worth it um, to get assertions to work um, because you know it's like you're not really running Java, you're writing this code and Android is running it for you somehow. And again, you can find um, some guides online about how to do this, but I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, instead, what we'll do is we'll start to use, uh, to replace places where we used to use the cert with an actual uh, throw called using a Java exception. So we'll talk about a little bit about how to, how to do that today. Uh, but again, so the, the main takeaway here is assert. So let's go back and look at the code. Um, assert does not always work. And in fact, it has to be turned on. If I just run this code using Java, the assertion does not fire, it's disabled. I can't turn it on using this flag, but that can be difficult to do in certain environments. 